what's going on YouTube hope you guys are doing well let's go ahead and talk about what I have on my heart this morning listen I'm disgusted I'm embarrassed and quite frankly I'm a little pissed off now I know you guys are familiar with this case involving this ex-police officer in Amber Geiger who walked into the home of Botham John and shot this man in the confines of his own home thinking that she was in her apartment. Pure American bullshit. So what is so fucking disturbing to me is that you have Botham John's brother that asked for a hug and not only did he ask for a hug guys he begged the judge to go and lock his arms around this person that just killed his brother put his brother six feet deep why would you want to hug a white supremacist i don't know if this is possible but can, can i give her a hug please please yes Pure American bullshit. Now, if that wasn't enough for you, just wait. Because you have a female officer, might I add an African-American female officer, that felt like she needed to pamper Amber once she was sentenced. Now, did you see that coon actually rubbing her fingers through Amber Geiger's hair? giving her the outstanding treatment that she deserves even though she killed an unarmed black man in his own apartment. Now, this was a double dose of cooning and just when you thought it was safe to say, okay, they're done, no, the judge comes along and puts the cherry on top. Hold up, wait a minute. Now, did you all see that bullshit in real time? The judge gives Amber Geiger a Bible and then she proceeds to give her a hug as well. I cannot believe that Botham John's brother wanted a hug from Amber Geiger. I can't believe the judge would give her a Bible and console her in her misery, in her fault and wrongdoing. It's almost like you're giving it a pass and you're sorry for even giving her the 10 years in the first place, which is an insult to both them John's life and legacy to only give her 10 years. It just shows how the system really doesn't care about black people and their life. They devalue African Americans and that's just the bottom line. And when you really assess the situation, it really goes to show that it doesn't matter if the judge is black or white because in this case you can't even trust your own people that are in position of power to do the right thing and stick it to amber geiger's ass for killing that unarmed black man in his own home and we know damn well if the tables were turned there would be no white judge consoling a black female officer for going into someone else's home by mistake so they say and shooting some white man down in cold blood there will be no white bailiff stroking the hair of a black female officer that committed this crime. And I don't see the victim's brother actually asking that black female officer to shot his brother down for a hug. The victim's family, all right? And I'm speaking from the perspective, if the tables were turned, would come prepared with a letter to rip that black female officer to pieces to tell her how despicable she is, all right? and how she tore their family apart by committing this crime. And basically, they would say, We'll be right now. I was gonna say the same thing. So watching this whole thing unfold really embarrasses me as a black man to see black people cower down to white supremacy and not hold them accountable for the bullshit that they've gotten away with for years. Now, I don't have no problem with anybody of any race. You know, I don't promote racism. And so if anybody white that is subscribed to my channel, this shouldn't bother you if you're not racist because I'm not preaching hate, I'm not preaching violence, I'm just telling the truth about my people and why we seem to keep holding ourselves back by conforming to white supremacy and giving them something to pivot off of because this story, in my opinion, has the Martin Luther King effect written all over it. I've been told by white people 
when I've come at them and called them out for certain things that they said that was disrespectful to me online. And of course, I would have to put them in their place because they were being racist. And do you know a couple of them would come back and say, that is not what Martin Luther King fought for? What does Martin Luther King have to do with our conversation where you just got done being racist towards me? But when I dismantle you with the truth and tell you about yourself, now you want to pivot that Martin Luther King wouldn't approve of me being or saying the things that I said. I didn't come at you racially. I just told you the truth about yourself. But rest assured, there are going to be some white people that's going to use this scenario and talk about it when they are faced with situations with other African Americans. They're going to say, look at the Botham John case, how his family was so forgiving and how the bailiff was so comforting to Amber Geiger and how the judge was comforting to Amber as well and giving her a Bible and a hug. I'm telling you, they're gonna use this to pivot and try to make black folks think that this is the way you should act even when we do something to you and violate you and murder your people in cold blood. Now, let me tell the truth about my people. Every time we're violated by other racists, they can do anything and everything to us under the sun there are a few of us that always come out and try to play this role like you need to forgive and you know i'm not mad i can't get into heaven if i don't forgive that particular person i need for us to stop singing and start holding these racists accountable for their actions. Don't give them any lead way or any comforting because once you open Pandora's box to that, they're gonna feel that they can get away because some people within our community are gonna welcome them back with open arms. And if you somehow decide to forgive someone of another race for disrespecting your family members and murdering them or whatever the case may be because every situation isn't revolved around race and i get that and i understand that in its totality but if you decide to forgive you can forgive but don't let them know that you forgive them all right you hold that power i cannot believe that this judge would be so sympathetic to give amber a hug and a bible after they dug up her past and found that she had sent racial text messages to other white officers within the police department and you still found it in your heart to console this woman let me say this guys I was raised, you know, in a Christian home and I understand the Bible and I was taught to believe in the Bible and my mom was the evangelist. But I have to say, I'm holding on to some faith, but I'm starting to question. All right. I'm starting to question the real purpose of the Bible. I'm really starting to think that certain aspects of the Bible, especially the forgiving aspect is a manipulation that has been put in place to keep black people in check. After all the things that we encountered within our past, you know, slavery and things of that nature, all of a sudden there's a book that has been constructed to tell you how you should live to make it in the pearly gates of heaven, all right? And that you should be saved and govern yourself accordingly while on earth and forgive thy neighbor, all right? Thou should not steal, thou should not kill, all right? All of the things that has happened to black people due to the hands of white people, they're telling us and instructing us not to do. Now, I know the Bible is universal, it's for everybody, but it seems that black people gravitate to the Bible. Every time something bad happens to us, we are so quick to forgive. Listen, I just really think that we as black people need to start using our common sense versus our faith. At this point in time, I think that we're being manipulated by faith and it's conforming us in a sense to do what they think is right for us to do. And that includes forgiving them for all their wrongdoing. And meanwhile, those racists are not going to change their position. They're going to keep violating and doing whatever they want to us because they know at the end of the day, it's going to be a certain percentage that is going to be willing to get on their knees and fall to their master and forgive them for everything that they have done to our community. You want to go down as a weak dummy? Then go ahead because this brother is not. 
I accept all people from all races. I respect all people from all races, as long as you respect me. But this racism stuff, it is getting tiring. Every time I look on the internet, there's something in the feed that has something to do with racism. And to be honest, it's coming from white people. And that's not to say that black people can't be prejudiced because we do have people within our race that's prejudiced. Because if you know your history, you will understand that black people can't be racist. Racists have privilege plus power. They can make a race conform to whatever wishes they want them to. All right. They have the ability and the power to make a race say and do what they want them to say and do. Black people don't have that power, so we can only be prejudiced. But anyway, it's time to let this shit go. I'm going to let y'all have that in the comments. Drop down and let me know what you think about this video. I know that some people may agree and some people may disagree. That's why we're individuals in this country. We do have that right. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll get with you in the next video. All right. Pure American bullshit. That's all, folks.